Whatever. Do whatever. I understand him. I wouldn't have appreciated someone coming to listen to me without my knowing. But it's still a little rude to be thrown out like that. Well, I guess you can't ex you can't expect better from a Bartholi. Bartholi. I can't. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. I know it's a glimmer of melancholy. How many times have they used the word melancholy? This is like the eighth time. I noticed a glimmer of melancholy in his eyes that touched me deeply. deeply. That And that piece on the piano is not that great because I don't like classical music. Remember? I want to know more about him. He doesn't seem very accessible to me, but I'm sure that, that I'll manage to get him out of his shell. I'll be discreet. I don't think I should rush it and I'll probably take take me some time before I manage to tame him. Tame him? I'll go back to bed. When I hear the piano music when I hear the piano music resume weekly, I smile. I listen to the music. The music is too haunting for me to sleep, especially I should have picked sleep. It'll pro it probably would have said like the same thing. The music is too haunting for me to sleep, especially after the interaction I just had with Beater. He's so handsome, yeah, he's so, he seems so desperate. As if part of him wasn't really there in the real world with me. Seems to bewitch me as if the more magical, if, if it were more magical than human. I don't know why I feel connected to it. For another hour I listen, unable to fall asleep. Does Peter play all night? He doesn't, he doesn't sleep. You've been here for like, how long? Haven't, is this your first day? I don't think it is. Who are you, Peter? You look like a black, you look like a black diamond. So bright and so dark. I, I get up, I grab, well if I grab a book, I get up, too. I'm gonna do, I get up. I'm un I'm unable to keep still. I have to be careful not to think about all the things swimming around in my head. When I open the window, the unique smell of the night strikes me. I hear the sound of nocturnal animals. <sighs> I even think I hear a wolf. <sighs> Maybe that's one of the brothers, and he's a werewolf. The mo the moon is high in the sky. It illuminates the man the man it illuminates the manor garden. Tap. Screen. So, um, when I was doing the original gameplay for the video, um, the, uh, the game started to, like, freak out and it wouldn't go, and I, like, and that caused the audio to get really messed up during the, um, when the video came out. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this part because it's, it's really awful. I try, I try, I, like, I was gonna just post it anyways, but it's really bad and you can't, it's... So I'm just going to, like, I don't know, I'm going to just talk about the game. It's like, <clears throat> what I've thought of the game, I guess. So, like, this game this game pisses me off. Like, the writing is really bad. They have, like, they use the same, they, uh, they've used Melancholy, I think, four or five times in the first, like, 20 minutes of gameplay, which is really bad for um, a story game where the whole entire thing is reading and they should really you know get a better vocabulary and improve on the writing and most of it's just really bad writing but this part's pretty funny uh there's a, a owl that comes down and it looks really it looks like fucking hideous and so you'll see in a little bit and i don't i don't know what the owl's gonna what purpose the owl's gonna serve but i guess we're gonna see but you know this game's just a pile of garbage. Yeah, look like at like the option stroker, which is really weird, and that's just fucking creepy. But yeah, there's a part when Dorgo is his name. I call him Dargo in the first part of the video, which is wrong. His name's Dorgo. He goes up to you and he's like, I'm, "I'll eat you later," and that's really weird. And like I, f I found that line pretty pretty weird. Like, why would he say that? But, yeah. 
So I called the, I think I called the owl Hoodwink, I think, I'm pretty sure. Or yeah, yeah, yeah I call it Houdini. And then I switch it to Hood, Hoodwink because, you know, it's really funny because, like, like an owl goes who and, like, Houdini, like, get it? Yeah, you get it. And, um, I need to change the name later, but, see, I call it Hoodwink, and then I'm like, yeah, that's a good name, but then I was like, it, it was like, it, it, it's gonna be called that for the entire story. I'm like, with the entire story, I better change it to something more member- memorable, so I changed it, instead of Hoodwink, I changed it to, um, Fart Dick, as you can see right there, which is really hilarious and really funny, because, like, fart and dick are really two funny, really funny words, but... Anywho, the whole um, thing I said before about them being vampires, and it's mentioned in the title, it is in the title of the game is, I'll probably put a picture up, like, boom, right there, it says it right there, vampires, which is really dumb, because it's, it's supposed to be like, oh shit, they're vampires, like, and that's why Dorgo said, like, he's gonna eat you later, because he's a vampire, and he, vampires don't eat people, I don't think, but, I don't know, maybe they do in this universe. The, um, is it love cinematic universe because there's like five fucking games of this stupid shit but anyway this is this is the end of it like i i like ex- I, lo- I, st- I got t- i got too tired of playing this game when i got here so i just ended this garbage but um basically the writing's terrible um characters are dumb and it's a really boring game, and I feel like none of your um, actions have any consequences or do anything. Kind of like Telltale, but like they could have done something, but anywho. So, see you in the next video. Peace out.